Hello gamers, welcome back to Solo Spelunking and today it is day 7 of my Pathfinder Pawns Advent Calendar series. So we're almost one third of the way till Christmas but not quite and today we will open up drawer number 7 which hides here just below the 6. Alright and this is packed full with pawns, I can already see that so here take a look and as usual, we will go over the pawns and I will ramble about them a little. Oh, look at that. But I can already see that there are also a few doubles in there. Alright, so another farmer, also female. So now a little rent. They could have taken the effort and provide male and female versions of the farmers, if you ask me. But maybe there are some male farmers coming up still in this uh, collection. And we also had this pawn. It's an, an elf guard, guard elf, so guard, um, comma, elf. So, um, yeah, nice looking pawn with a lot of uses, also as a player character. Another guard, we already had them. This time it's a human guard. Ooh. <laughs> A grave digger. So we had the grave robber and now we also have the grave digger. Uh, limited use as a player character but maybe some use in a horror themed adventure. Alright, the monster hunter. We already had her too. Um, double X, cut off monster head, bow. And while I'm at it, the same thing that is true for for the um, farmer also here. I they could have provided a female and a male version. Yeah, of I know I know they had to do more artwork this way, but I don't know, make it a dollar more expensive, but provide female and male versions of these characters. I think this is not too much to ask. What do we have here? Oh, a dock hand. All right. So a guy loading stuff onto a ship, carrying a crate. Um, limited use as a PC, but maybe useful in a, in a pirate or ship-based adventure. Oh, okay. So this is a nice pawn, a burglar from the... Um, yeah, from the delicate features, I would presume female, but I can't really tell. I don't know, these are probably lock picks. I see a short bow, a rope here at the belt or on the belt. Yeah, leather armor, a mask. All right, nice one. Could also be an assassin approaching the player's camp at night, maybe <coughs> acting um, by order of someone. Okay, what do we have here? An apprentice. Yeah, okay, carrying some scrolls, limited use if you ask me. Oh, nice one. A watch officer. Plate armor, large shield. I don't know if this is an axe or a warhammer, but very useful as a player character pawn for your standard fighter type. Another elf guard. Put him up here or her. And apothecary. Okay, can also be used as an alchemist or a, a herb woman uh, running a shop. Yeah, I see some uses for her. Here we have a physician. Uh, here we have a physician. All right. Carrying a uh, needle here with an injector and his, his leather bag. Yeah, limited use if you ask me. <clears throat> All right, another watch officer. Okay. Another tracker with purple and light blue clothes. A dwarf cultist. We also already had him. 
another guard. Oops, sorry. Another guard. This time it's a half orc, but same uniform, same equipment. Put him here to the other guard. Oh, I, I don't think we had this guy, a cultist, but this time a gnome. So a gnome cultist. Okay, with a long beard and a weird look on his face. Another priest, this time a gnome priest, but the same glowing hands, same pose as the other ones. And another um, archer sentry on what it seems a city wall. Yeah, all right. So that's it for day number seven. And hopefully I will see you tomorrow when we open up drawer number eight. And as always, stay safe and stay healthy. Have a nice remaining day and I will see you next time. Bye bye.